I'm going to do a quick garden update starting with my blackberry bush. It's uh, filling out. We have some blackberries turning black. We ate a couple off the bush earlier today. And they are delicious. So that is that is a success in my book. We have lots of blackberries coming on there. And uh, just picking them off and eating them one at a time has been a real joy. My strawberry bed has not been a failure. It has not been a great success. I mean, the plants grew. I mean, better than any strawberry plants I've ever grown. They just, they look fantastic. Uh, but the strawberries, there's a red one. The strawberries, they're all about the size of a dime. I have had a few bigger ones, but mostly, mostly they're just small. So we just pick them off and eat them small. That's okay. So it hasn't been a total waste, but nothing we could really harvest and do much with. In this bed, I didn't show any, any planting of these, but you might remember in a previous video where I had those sweet potatoes in the greenhouse. Well, I went ahead and put them in here. I had four plants. This one over here, it's gone. It just, uh, I guess it wasn't strong enough. But uh, the other three are looking great, and hopefully I'll get some sweet potatoes off those this year. The asparagus. For the first year, and considering I had no idea what I was doing, I think they're doing real well. I've had a number of young sprouts uh, come up and uh, just fill this bed out. They're leaning over. I don't know if that's normal, but uh, they're looking pretty nice. So next year, maybe the year after, I'm hoping to have something that I can... Uh, harvest and enjoy. So then on to my peppers and tomatoes. I have loads of these peppers, the long sweet peppers and the uh, bell peppers. Those those are just doing fantastic this year. And then these are my heirloom tomatoes. You know, I, on a previous video, I, I did the calcium and magnesium, and then I showed an update where they were maybe 12 inches tall. Well, these are, uh, they're doubled. They're doubled. They're, that's easily 24 inches right there. And uh, they're not all that tall, but several of them are. The uh, brandy wine over here is not quite that tall. It's probably 18 to 20 inches tall. But uh, they are filling out, and I have some young tomatoes on there. So that's encouraging. This little one, I can't remember what it is. I'll have to go check my videos to see what variety this is. But uh, the plant has not gotten very big at all. But I have four little tomatoes on there and lots of flowers. So this one's going to be a producer. That's, that's wonderful. There's my hot peppers. And those hot peppers are delicious. They're wonderfully uh, hot, but not crazy hot. There's a few more pepper plants that are producing just nicely. On down the line to more heirloom tomatoes. Well, I guess not every one of them heirlooms. Some of them are uh, hybrids, but most of them this year are heirlooms. So, cucumbers. I never got my trellis built, so they're just kind of sprawling out everywhere. But we got some uh, nice cucumbers growing there on the sunflowers. And the sunflowers are uh, just kind of hanging on. And then in the same bed I have the beets growing and that whole row of beets. The plants, the plants look nice. I've never grown beets before so I couldn't tell you if they're actually doing any good or if they should be taller or whatever. But they look nice to me. So, and my cantaloupe and watermelon bed is filling out. I mean, it is just packed full of vines and flowers. And I noticed today, I have a little cantaloupe. Actually, I have a couple. So that's exciting. Last year, we enjoyed the cantaloupes. Uh, we really enjoyed growing those and eating those. And then I got my watermelon plants over here. Still, this one little watermelon plant here, he's barely done anything, but he's kind of hanging on, so hopefully he'll poke out there 
and do some good. And then the kids' gardens. It's a long update, sorry. But uh, we're still struggling with worms on the cabbage. But we've gotten lots of nice tomatoes out of these. Lots. I mean, look at those. Those are beautiful. So we harvested some squash out of here. Let's see, is there any in there right now? Yeah, it looks like there's a little one. And then the beans climbing up. So that's pretty much it. Uh, with the exception, last but not least, well, it kind of is least, because my ugly potato patch is barely a potato patch anymore. Basically, I have two plants, and that one is just about gone, and this one is barely hanging on. So as soon as those are officially gone and dead, I'm just going to dig it out, and hopefully I got a few, a few potatoes out of that.